See, a lot of people are afraid of the holiness of Jesus. But what he just showed me just now is he said, my holiness is so pure. He said, through the blood and through the resurrection of the new covenant, he said, when, my, when I pour out my holiness upon my people, he says, I come against the darkness that surrounds them. I don't come against them. People hide from God's holiness because they feel ashamed. But through his love, I pray that you recognize that you are so welcome, that you are so welcome into his holiness. And as you move forward into his holiness, the shame dissipates. The darkness gets smaller. It has no power over you, see? Because he's come to set us free. He is not to condemn the world, but to give life and to bring freedom. And as we run towards his presence, you see, the darkness has no power over you. Amen? Give him a, give him a praise. Lift him up in prayer. Yes. You see, what happens is you begin to condemn yourself in your mind, in your brain. That's why you have to learn how to talk to God through your heart. Go past the brain. Go past the insecurity. Go past the shame. Go past the guilt. And in your heart where it's tender, where you're innocent. See, there's an innocence in your life because you are made in the image of God. Let us make man in our image. Let us give them dominion and authority over all of the earth. That's what you were made to do. You were made to push back darkness. You were not made to be intimidated by darkness. You were made to come into his holiness not to stay out into the courts. You were made to speak with the Lord face to face. You were made to speak to God himself, the creator of all the earth, face to face. You were made to hear his voice. You were made to know your God. You were made to do that. I know most of you are catching this. This is very prophetic. But you got to catch it in your spirit. Don't try to th think about, but yield. Jesus, we thank you for your healing. I hear those voices out there. Just thank him. Thank, thank you. Thank you for healing me today. Thank you for lifting me up. Thank you for not condemning me, but to bring life. I want you to just place everything right now at the feet of Jesus. I want you to place it right now at the feet of Jesus and just say, I give you all my cares. I give you all my fears. I give you all my worries. I give it to you. Just close your eyes and just give it to him. And as you're doing that, I'm going to speak these words over you. God will break us, but he breaks us into position. He breaks us into the right places that we're supposed to be, that we have most of our authority and power. God never breaks us to hurt us, to destroy us, but he breaks us with grace. Many times I've been broken in my life, and it was the grace and the mercy that brought me back to God. And, but sometimes life will also break us, and God is our redeemer and our restorer. So everybody's been gracefully broken. And the prayer today through this prayer, through the violin is, Father, thank you 
that we are broken before you. Thank you that we are handling, that you have handled us through grace. And Father, we just lift up Jesus and we worship. And we say to you, God, all that I am, look at your hands. Everyone look at your hands. Everything that God has put in your hands, I want you to ask him to multiply it. Multiply what you've given me. Give me wisdom to make the right decisions. Multiply my business, multiply my finances, multiply my family, multiply the blessings. Everything that you have given me, all my natural gifts, multiply it. That's the prayer today. And then you say, all that I am, I put my heart at the altars. Now place your heart at the altars of God. See, this is a safe place. This is a holy place. The veil has been broken for you. Come on in. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. I give you my life. All that I have is yours. Say that prayer today. All that I have is yours. I surrender my life to you. Your word says that you are faithful. The word says that I can trust you. The word says that you are my healer. The word says that you're my salvation. The word says that you have made a way where there is no way. The word says that the enemies that surround me, that you will set a table before my enemies and you will feed me and make me strong. The word says that I can come to you at any time. The word says that you have equipped me and gave me power. I give you my life. Here I am, God. with arms wide open. Here I am, God, that you may use me in all creation to bring your glory, to bring goodness, to bring justice, to bring fairness, to have a voice, to bring order and resist chaos to bring soundness where you have not given me a spirit of fear, Father, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. I stand before you, God. I give you my family. I give you my children. Protect my kids. Protect my spouse. Protect all that you have blessed me with and help me to be a steward unto you. I give you my life. I give you my life. The kingdom of God is a beautiful place. You see, heaven won. And you have just stepped into heaven on earth. you to just talk to him. Just talk to the Lord. I don't want anyone doing anything else. I want you to stay focused because this is a holy place. I want you to reverence what is happening before you. This is not a place you casually go in and out. This is not a place that you just throw to the side. God help you. This is a place of reverence.
Teach us your ways, O oh Lord. Lead us in a straight path because of our oppressors. God says, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me. Those that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength, and they will mount up with wings of eagles, and they will run, and they will not become weary, and they will soar in their life. That's me, God. Bless me. I want you to ask Jesus to bless you now. You say, bless me, Father. Bless me. you need a healing in your body, I want you to come to the altars. If you are lifting up something very serious in your life, I want you to come to the altars. If you are standing in the gap for someone, the prayer you need, I want you to come to the altars. If there's something in your life that you're dealing with, I want you to come to the altars. Like I said, this is a safe place. The anointing of the Lord is over you, Helen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for Helen. I thank you for her restoration. I thank you for her gifts. And I bless her in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is over you. In the name of Jesus. I speak that over everyone here. The Spirit of the Lord is over you. Isaiah 61. For the sovereign God. Joseph, I want you to come up here and help me. And can you get can you get a Bible and turn to Isaiah 61? Can someone help me? The sovereign the Lord said, I want you, them to know my sovereignty. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. Mm. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim, pro proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. Goes on to say, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor yes. and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve. Zion, to bestow them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, yes. the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a gamut of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. God is giving that to you this morning. He's giving that to everyone who's he who hears. Everyone who hears. That sovereignty of God is a Christian teaching that God is the supreme authority over all things under his control. So everything that is tried and control you, give it to God. Because the sovereignty of God is here. He's pouring out. And he says that you give me your ashes and I will give you beauty. Because everything he says is under me. Sovereignty is an attitude of God based upon 
the promises of God. The creator of all heaven and earth promises to save you, promises to deliver you, promises to put your feet on high ground. And you have the absolute right and fullness of authority and fullness of dominion to be in his presence. To be in his presence. And the enemy cannot come into the presence of God. So there is no enemy here. It's only the sons and daughters of God and God himself. Let the tears go. Just let it go. God's healing you. Just let it go. Joseph, just begin to lay hands on everyone. Just let it go. Parents, I want you to lay hands on your kids. Just lay hands on your kids right now and just protect them and bless them. Lay hands on your kids. Melody and Adam, just lay hands on him. Felicia, just lay hands on your kids. And God said, I am supreme being. Everything is in my control. When you surrender it to me, I partake. He said, we are in communion now. I partake. I take your portion and you take my portion. And he says, everything I touch, everything I allow you to give me, I multiply. I bless. But he says, I'm a loving God and I'm a just God. And the things that I see in your life that will take you away or make your life small, he said, I will depart that from you. I will purge you. I will declare my name in your life. No one comes first in your life. I'm a loving father. I purge those that I love. I discipline those that I love. I save those that I love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Zechariah says in 4, 6, God says, not by might nor by power, but it is by my spirit. Thank you for leading and allowing my spirit to overtake you, to influence you. The Father says to everyone here, because I have given you a free will and I'll never take that from you I've given you a free will to make decisions to be in control
And he says, I have wept at times when my people made decisions that would destroy them because I gave them that free will. I've always provided a refuge and a fortress. I've always been the strong castle for them to run into. But the enemy has sometimes spoken to them through society, through culture, and told them that I wasn't strong enough to deliver them. But I would say to you that my grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. As you walk into my grace and walk with my grace, it is a power of its own. And it will sustain you and it will not judge you, will not harm you. And my mercies endureth forever and ever. And my loving kindness is always watching out over you and bringing you peace. Come unto me, those that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Let my spirit break your hearts. Create in me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not take thy Holy Spirit from me. For thine is the glory and the power forever and ever. Those that knock on the door, I will open. Those that seek me, they will find me. Those that call upon my name, I will hear them. And I will come to them. For I am the Lord thy God who seeks for you. a crown upon your head. Will you take the crown? My crown of glory that you are the sons of God. Let's just worship him. Let's just worship him. Just worship him.
as Pastor Paige is ministering, I just see chains being broken. I see generations being changed. I see families being set free. I see the next generation rising up and being bold. I see healing. I see marriages. I see relationships that are being restored as we worship. Through obedience of coming up to the altar, that's how transformation takes place. It's through your obedience. I see breakthrough financially in your jobs, in your workplace. I see things coming to you that only God can make a way. Let's continue to worship with Kelly and the worship team and just stay in God's presence.
such a beautiful presence of God. There's many words that that we gave through the prophetic word. And one of the words that God just kept repeating and repeating, he just says, your future is in my hands. And I was trying to get you to, to turn around, give me your hand. He says, your future is in my hands. He says, fear not. Come unto me, and I will continually give you the strategy of how to conquer and how prosperity shall flow through your life. He said, son, you're going to come between many obstacles, and those obstacles will be people that will operate in darkness. Not evil, just darkness. They will be greedy. They won't have clarity. They will be selfish. I'm going to give you, my spirit is upon you, and he's going to give you discernment. And in that discernment, you're going to move with wisdom, kindness, gentleness meekness. You're not going to call them out, but you're going to learn to navigate through them, around them. Because I have blessed you and what I put in your heart is me. So in the name of Jesus, I anoint you for your breakthrough year. I anoint you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for that. Just give him praise. We thank you for that. Thank, thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so, and then when I when when I prophesy, when I prophesy, it's if you're hearing it, it's for you too. So take it. Take it. See, we're in the spirit now. I'm so proud of you. I prayed for you all night last night. You're coming out. God's righteous right hand did not let the destroyer destroy you. He said, you have sought after me. You have planted seed. You have given when you didn't have anything to give. You continue to give. You continue to pray. You continue to stand. And the Lord thy God will say to you, that I am your rampart, that no one, I said no one, will harm you, touch you, or take what I have put in your hands. No one. I see that there's a side of God that he's a warrior. He's a, the Lion of Judah. And he says, I am the Lion of Judah over her life. I am the Lion of Judah over her child's life. I am the Lion of Judah. No one. No one will take away what I have put in your hands. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God has blessed you. And now we're going to just break that yoke, that seed that's been put in your heart, that you are nothing, that seed that you were told and that you were worthless, that seed that you were told that someone discarded you in the name of Jesus I break that yoke 
now in Jesus' name. And I thank you for liberty. I thank you for freedom. I thank you for transformation in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God. I thank you, Lord, for her life. Oh, God, someone give her praise. In the name of Jesus, lay hands on her. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. It's wonderful. Such a beautiful prophecy over you. Such a beautiful prophecy over you. God says, I've created you to bring goodness on the earth. I've given you a mind. I've given you a heart. You see, I've given you strategies in your heart. And some of them, they didn't work. But they're going to work because you're going to do it my way. You're not going to do it your way. You see, I brought you here so you can learn my ways because my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And I have put creative power in you. My creative power is in you to create goodness, righteousness, to bring forth. And these people that are moving in darkness, they're going to see the goodness in you and they're going to follow you. You're anointed to lead. You're anointed to be the director. You're anointed to be the person standing in the room and takes authority. I have given you dominion and I've given you authority. And son, you're going to have your breakthrough year. In the name of the Father, I thank you, God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. These are beautiful prophetic words. Oh, and I have come into your house. The Lord says, I have come into your house. Oh, I live in your house. Thank you for inviting me into your house, Jesus says. Thank you for inviting me into your house. And now that I'm in your house, I will put it in order. Now that I'm in your house, I will flourish you and I will bless you. Now that I am in your house, I will give them to you. I see every child that you have born, and my hand is upon them. I see everything of the past, but my daughter, do not look upon the past any longer. See me, because I am your future and I will make a way where there is no way. And you have worked so hard and gave so much, but I am taking that burden off of you right now because I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. Elizabeth, get behind her. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just release her now. I want you to take the whole thing. I release you in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I break that yoke, that yoke off of you that has been plaguing you for so many years. And the Lord says, I'm setting you free. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Breathe that in. Breathe that in. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you, God. Your day of deliverance is today. It's today. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Oh, I, w I want all you guys just to hold my hand. Like, all of you guys, just hold my hand. This generation, I just love this. Lord says, I will make myself real to you. Look for me. Find me. In every situation, come to me. Pray to me. I promise you. Your future is good, it's bright, it's powerful. I will transform you and I will give you life. Look for me, look for me on the earth, look for me in ways, look for me in the music, look for me in the, in the movies, look for me and I will speak to you and I'll show you, reveal myself to you in Jesus' name. I thank you for the anointing over them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of your Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Amen. You know, Joseph, part of uh, the act of worship is giving. And I think today is going to be one of the biggest offerings we have. So you guys can go back to your seat, and I want everyone to prepare to give. And we're going to pick up an offering for this church. How many of you believe that this church should be here? This church should be here. I want you to prepare. Those of you online, if you're still online, Joseph, are we still online? We make it very easy to give. Be part of the giving family today. Trust God with your finances. Did you hear God speak today? Move on that word alone and see what happens. Do you guys need financial breakthroughs? Move on that word today and see what happens. Just move on it and then expect for God to bless you. That's what he's telling me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in a zone right now. And so it's, it's like he just goes, test me in this. It's the only scripture he says, test me, test me in this. And I think everyone should give, even the young people, little world shakers, thank you for giving. 